Welcome to another video from Double O Rail. Um, so we're back doing reviews um, right here in front of me. We've got the uh, brand new uh, Scott Rail Class 43 HST pack in the uh, Enter 7 City livery. Um, this is the uh, brand new um, one that just came out the other day. Uh, I had this uh, shipped to me from um, Hattons. I had it on pre-order and um, it arrived. Um, I think they shipped it out Monday and it arrived Wednesday. So um, it's a uh, it pretty nice. Uh, set up here uh, standard kind of HST box it has this kind of label over it though it tells you that the uh, Scott rail trademarks are used with permission of the uh, Scottish ministers and it has a code down here which is or three six nine eight so uh, what we're gonna do this is gonna be an express review um, I haven't done reviews in a while and uh, some folks have asked me to do it mainly because um, they like the informative nature of the reviews uh, so we're gonna try to keep things uh, Keep you informed rather than influenced. Uh, so these are going to be really, really quick reviews. Uh, give you a look at the logo, see it running on the layout, and then we'll do a more in-depth look at it later on. So today, uh, like I said, I got this from uh, Hattons. Um, it's still available. Uh, you can, they have uh, plenty in stock in Hattons. They also have them at Kernow and uh, several other places. It'll run you about two hundred and sixty-one pounds uh, sterling. Um, I managed to pick it up for uh, 217 pounds and 50 uh, pence because I had it on pre-order plus um, I don't pay VAT since I'm outside the UK and outside the EU. Um, so without any further ado, we will uh, take a look at it. So um, it's in this new Enter 7 City livery and the reason it's called, it has the uh, number 7 here is uh, to do with uh, the 7 cities that the uh, HST will be servicing. Um, in Scotland. Uh, so those are uh, Glasgow, um, Edinburgh, Dundee, Perth, Stirling, Aberdeen, and uh, Inverness. And so um, this started service, uh, regular service in October, I think it was October 15th, uh, 2018. Um, so from any point in time from there going forward, and obviously until they withdraw them, um, it'll be uh, perfectly good. Now right now they only have the uh, power cars out. Um, they have Mach 3 uh, coaches in the same uh, Scott Rail Ender 7 C livery, and uh, those should be out in, in a couple of months. Uh, I think last time I looked, it said fall or autumn, so uh, could be any point in time. So I have quite a few uh, HSCs. Um, so I have the GWR ones, uh, which are also run in this sort of uh, slimline uh, formation. Uh, unlike the inner city uh, 125s that ran in eight and nine car formations. So um, the Scott Rail version um, will run in either four car or five car versions. And they use the uh, slide door, uh, which is the new tooling. Uh, so those will be out um, sometime in the autumn, according to uh, the various websites. Uh, so to run in a four car formation, uh, you need uh, TGFB, which is basically a first class uh, mini buffet with a guard. Uh, you need a TSD, which is um, a trailer second with a uh, wheelchair accessible toilet. Uh, you also need a trailer second, and then you need a trailer, which basically is a you know, Mach 3 uh, TS coach without a toilet. And then uh, you need a TSL, which is um, basically a, a trailer second with a uh, small toilet. Now, I believe the trailer second has like a bicycle uh, thing where the toilet would be. Uh, at least that's what I, I read online. So um, the five car version, which you could also run, uh, basically has a second TSL. So um, the formation would be typically be TGFB, TSD, TS, TSL. And then uh, if you're doing the five car, you'd have a second TSL and then the two power cars on either end. Um, so the good news is if you've ever wanted a HST and you have a slightly smaller layout, this might be the way to go. Uh, you can also do the same thing with the uh, Great Western Railway version. Uh, I believe those are running also in uh, shortened versions. So uh, without further ado, let's go and uh, take a look at what you get inside the box. So um, first off, it's actually, uh, you know, you have the logo and stuff on the outside. Um, this is two uh, power cars. You've got a 43033 and uh, 43183. Um, 
And so we will open this up and see what we have. I'm guessing this is probably going to be like your standard uh, HST uh, power cars, uh, just like the GWR ones. Uh, so it slides right out. And we'll set the box aside. Now, the boxes are pretty nice, especially if you want to resell it at some point, but uh, I tend to like to keep the boxes anyway. And you have your usual uh, solid tape that's holding the outer casing on. And it's just cardboard. And so you've got the standard uh, class 40, 43 HST um, diagram here. It tells you how to uh, remove the body shell. Looks like it's a couple of screws and um, where to lubricate it and so on. Also how to uh, fit a DCC um, decoder and sound to it. So we'll set the instructions aside. We don't need those. Um, now this is probably a standard Hornby setup. So if you look here at the um, back, you have basically finger holes to push the loco out. Uh, so what you do is you just put your finger in one hole and grasp the locomotive, try to grasp it, and, and then you see the other finger hole and it comes right out. So the top one appears to be the power car. Uh, so we're gonna set that down very carefully. Uh, it's interesting that they're covered in this um, greaseproof type paper. I haven't seen that since my dad's old triangle case. Um, and the bottom one is non-power car. So uh, we'll unwrap this real quick. And this here, it's uh, really, really glossy. I can tell you that. Um, might be why it comes in this. Um, so there you can see it's got the uh, logo on the side. Looks like it's got uh, two sets of fans on the roof here. And um, I'm not sure if that's right or not. I'll have to go uh, look online. I heard some comments that maybe it wasn't right. Um, and then you got the detailing at the back. And so on. So what I'll do in a minute is I'll move the camera down and I'll just pan um, back and forth. So uh, that's freewheeling. So it's the unpowered version. And... Uh, like no damage, which is good. And that is the uh, power car right there. Um, you also get a uh, coupling uh, detailing pack. I'll set that aside. I don't typically use those. And um, let's have a look at the power car. Again, looks like it's um, got a NEM coupling with this kind of slightly reduced uh, connector on it. And uh, it's got pretty nice detailing underneath and so on. Um, but, uh, you know, to be, to be honest, it's a HST, right? Got a whole bunch of them. So uh, what we're going to do next is, like I said, I'm going to go and pan the camera uh, back and forth so you guys can uh, take a look at it. And then we'll uh, run it on the layout. Um,
scale here. I'm going to uh, turn it on. And it should be set to ground, switch it is. So I'm going to start off with the um, power car. And we're going to set it laterally across like this. So the power car weighs a um, pretty hefty 506 grams. Right, so we're going to go and remove that. And then we're going to place the unpowered car, the dummy. And it weighs 182. have it that was our um, express review uh, hopefully you guys uh, found it interesting um, like I said um, at the start of the video uh, several people asked me to come back and start doing reviews again uh, mainly because um, they knew that when I do reviews I just purchase the thing and let you guys uh, form your own opinions so um, hopefully you guys uh, got good looks to look at I uh, hope you guys like the camera angles if there's a different angle or something different you want just just stick it in the comments below uh, personally, um, I really like this liquor, it runs really well, and um, it's got a really nice gloss finish on it. Um, I do have uh, two sets of the GWR ones, and so I'll do a, maybe a comparison video uh, in the near future, and you guys can uh, get a nice THST running session in there as well. Alright, so um, that's it for today's video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I have put together an article uh, to go with this video and the link to that article is in the description below or you can simply go to www.google.uk Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy the video and until next time.